Okay, for this segment we're going to show some basic editing of the wiki. Um, of course, the first thing we'll need to do is uh, find the page we want to edit. I have a blank page here, titled blank page, and I'm going to click on edit this page. This will bring up a form um, where all the main text or the content for the page is uh, going to be listed. And of course, as we saw before, it just has blank page. And we're going to type in some new text. And I'm going to scroll down, select Save. And you'll see then that the page is updated to reflect my new text. Okay, we're going to want to do some things a little bit fancier than that. So I'm going to add um, some uh, elements of the DocuWiki syntax. And what the syntax does is just gives DocuWiki some uh, code for uh, how things should look. And its little special code for italics is two front slashes, like so. And I can do a save again. And you see all the text that's surrounded by two slashes is now italicized. Similarly, we can do bold. as well as many others. Now you'll notice above here that there's actually some buttons for this. This isn't truly a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get, obviously, because the text doesn't change in the actual screen, but not until we, but it does once we press save. I can do the same thing by pressing this bold, and it'll take the highlighted text and put the actual asterisks around it. Okay, so there's bold and italics, and similarly you can do underline, um, true type, which is going to give you a monospaced type strike through, and then headings. Headings you'll want to use for your headings, obviously, and the larger headings you would do a larger headline. And all it's doing is it's doing a series of equal signs before and after the heading uh, corresponding to the size of that particular one. And we'll go ahead and take a look at what this result is, and there you see it formats it for a large heading. Now, from now on, I'm, I'm not going to do save anymore. I'm going to do preview until we're all finished. And all preview does is it gives us a look at what the page is going to appear like down below there. Kind of gets us halfway to the WYSIWYG. So let's say instead of uh, um, just plain text, let's add some uh, bulleted text. And in the DocuWiki syntax, that is... Um, just an asterisk, two spaces, and then an asterisk, and the two spaces are important. Take a look at our preview here, and there you have it. Let's say we want another item. And maybe even a sub-item, so we spaced in a couple of extra spaces. and they have it subsumed under the uh, second bulleted item. And looks kind of nice. Fairly straightforward. We can also do ordered lists with a dash instead of an asterisk. So again, two spaces and a dash. Um, so we have an ordered list. And maybe a sub within there. And you can actually interchange these as well. So if we switch to bulleted within, it will actually adjust. And we'll go ahead and save it this time. And look at our end result. And I got some formatting issue. There we go. Because the screen was too small. There you have it. There's some uh, um, intro to text. I'm going to show you one other thing that can cause people headaches, and that is it takes these spaces pretty seriously. So if I just add two spaces to my new text there, without any other item and I save it. It's going to treat this as what it calls code. So you get sometimes see these funny boxes and all that means is that you added some additional spaces somewhere that you probably didn't intend to have and you just need to remove them. And all will be well with the world again. 
There's a little basic introduction to text formatting.